Hello, this isn't Rich of Review Tech USA, and it's 6.36 a.m. in the morning. Rich, buddy, I watched your Halo Reach Midnight release. You need to drink more than just coffee, man. Here we go. Lactose-free. Mmm, pour my honey. Alright, this complete breakfast is not brought to you by Rich of Review Tech USA. Poor media. So, why are you here? Exactly. Um, well, I'm a big fan of uh, classic video games, like collect video games. Yeah. Um, what do you collect, man? Primarily, it was. Well, I say it was because uh, when we moved here, I actually had to sell pretty much all my uh, I've always heard people doing that. Mm. That's heartbreaking. It is, but that's why I'm here. What'd you sell? Um, I had an NES. Um, probably the rarest thing I had for the NES. I had a copy of Action 52. Um, wow, I actually haven't even heard of that. Really? Uh -uh. Yeah, um, actually Angry Video Game Nerd did it. Oh, Just okay. Just probably a month or so back. Yeah. But uh, it kind of jumped in popularity after that. Kind of like that uh, Cheetah. That a... Yeah, Cheetah Man was, Cheetah was Man. in Action 52. Yeah. Okay. You're here local? Uh, yes. And, uh, ah, dang it. Do you have any uh, EES cards? 
Uh, the only one I have is uh, Samurai Six Spirits. Spirits. <laughs> which pretty much everyone has. Okay. Okay. Not bad. <laughs> Sixty bucks for a Nintendo. That's actually a pretty good price. Yeah, I need the. Uh, yeah. Just bought a copy I already found. Yeah. Is that the strategy you got with it too? Yeah, it is. Cool. Eighty bucks for both of those. That's really good. How much is that loose car of Earthbound? Um, I think this one's 95. It's pretty good shape. Yeah. What do you want to pay? I was just curious. <laughs> I don't want it. Yeah. Uh, so it's a US 20 bucks, dude. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> but the, what's the, the, the Star, uh, Star Fox? That's what I need. Fuck yeah. shopping for the boots and the leggings and stuff um, and the wig so right a couple hours. Yeah. <laughs> now uh, for a lot of the guys out there I'm sure are going to be wondering like what's, uh, what's your favorite game? Probably Mario World 3. I'm a really big fan of side scrollers. One last question. I was wondering uh, what you think about uh, the mentality that uh, only guys play games and things like that. So, I think the older, in the old days, we had much more of a challenge. These days, when you, when you come up with a concept, there's at least a dozen ways to do it. On the 2600, there was one, maybe two. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> maybe there was one, yes, that's, that's even more correct. Of course, vertical separation was the name of the game, and limited use of players, and so on. 
I'll tell the story of Tandy Trower. Tandy was my first marketing person I ever had in the business. And he came along when I was doing Atari 800 Missile Command. And he would come by my office and bug me like once a week. It drove me crazy. And finally toward the end of the project, I said, Tandy, quit bothering me. And he said, listen, he said, I'm as important to this project as you are. And I said, Tandy, that's nuts. I said, if I fall down tomorrow and break a finger and I can't type, this project comes to a screeching halt. I said, if you fall down tomorrow and just down the stairs and break your neck, things are going to speed up. <laughs> he got mad at that and he went to my boss, Dennis Cole, all the time. And he said, Boy, well, your programmers are telling me I should fall downstairs. <laughs> and Dennis said, to That's a good idea. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I don't want to see you in this building ever again. And that was the last time I saw Ken. In 2003, I talked Ground Control Game Room into uh, letting me go for the world record on asteroids. Now, at the time, you know, I was just hyped on, I want to get the world record, that's it. Having no idea of what was in store, really, with going for a marathon of that, uh, you know, that kind of caliber. Uh, the machine wasn't ready for it either. And in 27 hours, 19 minutes, the power board smoked, and my attempt was over. Fortunately, uh, the game did last over 24 hours, and I didn't realize it at the time, but it was just a few days shy of 20 years since somebody had played a game from 1989 or before on one credit for over a day. Now, had I known, I may have waited a couple months just so I could brag that I was the first in 20 years, but like I said, there's a lot we didn't know at the time. Now, because of that attempt back in 2003, I was approached by a gentleman that wanted to make a, a documentary uh, chasing three or four different guys who were actually going after world records. And I said, well, it's kind of odd that you're getting a hold of me now, because next month I'm going to make an attempt on missile command. He flew right out from New York. We started filming right then. The movie changed from tracking three or four guys to just tracking me going after missile command. He, uh, he, he became aware of how difficult the game is real quick the first time we set him up to play and he couldn't get 12,000 points. So, you know, eventually I played a game, he saw what was going on, he realized it was worth his time. Five trips back and forth from New York. We spent uh, off and on for 11 and a half months filming the movie. First time it showed, it won the Audience Award, which is really the big one in life. And I, I was so thrilled. I was there for the uh, world premiere down in Austin, Texas. Ever since then, it's been a roller coaster ride of gaming expos, conferences, film festivals. You know, uh, it even got me all the way expenses paid, everything to England and back for the first ever game week, which was uh, which was thrilling. Um, I am going to end up playing and, and chatting while I play. You can ask questions, whatever you guys can see how it goes. Now this is the driven first board, you got to watch out for this. You see people losing cities on this first board? Take the missile command away from them. No. But we'll still let you play. We've got a lot of world record holders in, the, in, in this crowd right now. Scott right here is a world record holder on Capcom Bowling, got a perfect 300. I own the unit. Ken House right here is the world record holder on Dig Dug. See, Dig Dug gets an applause, Capcom Bowling does not. <laughs>